When a Greyhound's racing career is over, it then depends kind of on the humanity, I guess, of the kennel owners, kennel operators. Some of them keep them on, hoping that maybe they'll recover from an injury and race again, or, or keep them for a while while they try to find homes for them. McGillis' story is already a success story. He uh, made it through his period on the track. He came out without any significant injury, and he's in great health. Um, he's a happy dog. He's just a, yeah, he's a really sweet dog. We have a dog who's too high prey to live with cats or small animals. There are uh, other breeds of dogs that don't like cats, but they can't catch them. Greyhounds can catch them. <laughs> to hit that 45 miles per hour that they do at the track, they have to be highly motivated. Well, we knew that McGilla was a perfect fit for a family because he was such a gentle dog. Great on lead, he knows how to heal, he knew how to sit, he knew how to lay down, um, he, he, he was well-mannered, so in every single way he was just perfect. But he's still high prey drive, and, and so he still has that, that tendency, and when we take him for a walk, I mean, we have to be aware if there's smaller animals around, and, and, and really it's about protecting him because he's afraid of them, and so um, just knowing that is, is, is the biggest part of it. She and he uh, are perfect together, and having that other dog totally calmed him out, and of course he being here a week earlier kind of taught her the ropes of our house. Since we brought him home, he's just been an absolute joy. He's really affectionate. He's always slightly touching your leg. He's such a great family member.